Firefox version 100 has finally become available for download on the release page, as well as the repositories for Arch-based Linux distros and Gentoo, both the source and the pre-built binary. Now, about a month or two ago, I made a video talking about how Chrome and Firefox were both going to be breaking certain websites that were not able to parse three-digit version numbers correctly. But that really shouldn't be much of a problem at this point because Chrome has already updated. They updated to version 100 back at the end of March. And since Chrome, Google Chrome, has such a huge market share in the browser space, I have a hunch that the few websites that needed to patch their code for this have gotten so many complaints by now that they've gone ahead and patched the code. And so it's going to work on Firefox browsers as well. So let's start taking a look at some of these new features. All of these, for the most part, are pretty minor updates, nothing too crazy. But at the top of the list, we have Picture in Picture Mode now supporting subtitle displays on YouTube, Prime Video, and Netflix. So Picture in Picture Mode, in case you didn't know, is when you can watch videos on sites like YouTube in a floating window. So if we press this button here, then it creates this floating window where we can watch the video and we can also resize this window however we want. So it's really handy. Uh, another thing that you can do too, if we play the mini player, is now we can go ahead and browse through uh, YouTube like any other videos that we might wanna see. And then we can go into picture and picture mode from here. So you get the same thing, the same kind of idea, except again, it's a floating window. You can move it around. You can even put it on another monitor if you want and you can resize it. So really handy, cool feature that uh, if you weren't using it, maybe you will want to use it now. But yeah, that has subtitles in it now, just like the regular YouTube window. And um, there are some things about it that are a little bit different. Like I've noticed that uh, the subtitles, I mean, they're the same, but they kind of stack up differently. Uh, even if I resize it, like make it bigger. Um, sometimes they can go like three or four high. So I don't know if that's really considered a bug or if it's just going to be considered a feature. It's not really too big of a deal. It's just a cosmetic thing. Um, and then also when you're in a full screen window, like how I have the browser now, if you move it to another monitor and then you click on another window and then you try to drag it, it's going to be behind the Firefox window. So again, nothing that's too big of a deal. It doesn't even do this if it's any other configuration besides maximized full screen. Like if you've got it, um, it's just taken up part of the screen, then it's going to drag in front as it should. And if you just click on the Firefox window and then try to drag it, then everything is going to work as you would expect it to. And this picture in picture mode with captions is also going to be something that is supported on websites that are using web VTT. Firefox's spell checking is now working for multiple languages. I'll let one of you guys that are fluent in another language be the judge of whether or not that is working. You can go ahead and test it out because I went through the American public school system. So yeah, I can barely speak or write English as it is. HDR video is now also supported in Firefox on Mac for those of you that are using Mac OS 11 and that have devices with HDR displays. Hardware accelerated AV1 video decoding is enabled on Windows for graphics cards that support it. Scroll bars in Windows 11 and Linux, they no longer take up space by default. So this is one of the things that I noticed, and maybe you noticed it too looking at this video uh, when I first updated Firefox. So basically the scroll bar, when your mouse is not on it, is going to be a whole lot thinner here. And it actually disappears automatically if you click outside of the Firefox window. So I have an older build of Firefox over here, and you can see that it's very different. So this scroll bar is kind of thick, and that's not something that I really like personally. I don't even really use scroll bars. I mean, I guess 
You might even say that scroll bars are bloat because uh, most of the time I just either navigate with the mouse wheel or I'll just use like arrow keys down or you could do page up, page down. Um, so yeah, before to remove this in Firefox, usually you would have to either edit the CSS of the body to like just hide the scroll bars or you would have to install an add-on that does this for you to hide it or to resize it. So it's really nice that that's just included in Firefox's settings now or on Windows 11, I think you change, yeah, you change it under accessibility, visual settings, well, system settings, accessibility, visual settings, and then always show scroll bars. So that's where uh, you can change this back or forth on Windows. But this is definitely an improvement in my book. It's one of the biggest of these small improvements. And if you're not convinced by these minor functionality and UI changes, uh, then let me show you the security updates page on mozilla.org that lists all the security vulnerabilities that were fixed in version 11. So several of these are high impact. They're, most of them are rated around a 7.5 by Red Hat. And this is probably the best reason to update your browser. Make sure that your system is secure since the browser is what you're probably using the most to interact with the scary internet. So you can update Firefox from your repository if you're on any of those bleeding edge distros. If your distros release is behind or you're using Windows, then you can simply download Mozilla's binary build from their website. So give the browser a spin or once LibreWolf or any other forks of Firefox update, you could give those a spin because honestly, my favorite thing that Mozilla has developed for me, it's not even the Fox. It's more about the gecko, the engine that actually powers the fox and the wolf and the cat and every other Firefox based browser. Try them out because it's something different than Chrome because if the whole world was Chrome, well, then things would be very boring. Like and comment, tag the algorithm, follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.